now we are here to discuss the novelties of the 2021 bar and I for one will be really there in the forefront to experience how different it's going to be and let me start by stating that while the methodology will be different the main event which is your substantive readiness to take the bar remains to be the same so how will the bar exams be different this year <clears throat> now first there will be no mass congregating in the bar exam mecca in España those who were disenfranchised by virtue of their bad handwriting will find themselves in an even playing field now there are other innovations in the bar but again they should not affect the quality of your answers which would largely depend on the quality of your study and preparation now Number one, number one reform, number one change would be regionalization. For years, the law schools, especially the provincial law schools, have been lobbying for the regionalization of the bar examinations due to, well, principally cost, and then the support systems and other considerations. Now, even prior to the pandemic, the bar chairperson, Justice Marvi Leonen, have already issued a bar bulletin that announced that there will be two bar sites, one in Manila, one in Cebu City. This is a first in the history of bar examinations in the Philippines. In another bar bulletin issued during the pandemic, Justice Leonen clarified news reports that came out that the examinations will be online. Now, please note that the examinations will be taken just like how the previous bar exams are done. In a classroom, with proctors, same scheduling, same time, same chronology of bar subjects. Only that the bar takers will have an option of venue. As provided in the bar bulletins, there will be more than just two testing sites. <clears throat> what is the utility of having a decentralized bar examination? Well, Cost-wise, for the provincial bar takers, you don't have to spend for travel, accommodations, food, and other provisions for yourself and your family for an entire month. Some even come here prior to, to that because they also take uh, bar reviews, but now some of the bar reviews are taken online. So this may work well with whatever arrangements that you have right now. This also includes the cost for your schoolmates, your friends, and org mates who will be there to offer support. Now, as a result, you have more of your support group around it. The proximity to your homes and your routinary place of study will help in your mental preparation. With the pandemic, we can avoid mass gatherings and this can also serve to isolate isolate health cases should there be still be any because we don't know how it's going to be. And there are just these are just some of the benefits of a regional localized bar examination among the many. Number two reform. According to the bar bulletin number 16, series of 2020, the Supreme Court has explored the possibility of computerizing the bar examinations. Now, what does that mean? You will be taking the bar exam with the use of a digital device. It may be a desktop or a laptop, but not a tablet or a phone. Now, as also um, explained in that bar bulletin, you just have to wait because these things are being tested and there will be an issuance early next year after um, all the tests and all the mock um, exam um, pilot testing will be done um, so that you will have sufficient time to prepare. This means also that an examination software will be used where you will encode your answers. Now, should this be the case, early in the year or a sufficient time before that, a copy or a a sample of that software will be given to everybody so you can download it and test it and get used to it. So if such would be the case, which we will verify once the bar bulletins are out early next year, then um, that will be helping you uh, prepare for the digital type of the exam. Now, when you use the device, there will be no other app or any other system that you will be able to access while taking the examinations for security purposes. So for those who are worried about security issues, um, all these are taken into consideration. Now, in the classroom, there will be security cameras aside from proctors who are present. Should you have issues in taking exams digitally, you can also apply to take the exams by longhand on a disability ground. So this means that you have to apply for it. Now, what is the benefit of a digitalized exam? I'll just be naming a few because there are so many benefits to going digital. Now, first, it evens the playing field, as I mentioned earlier. The illegible handwriting will not anymore affect the evaluation of the answers. It gives more time for the students to think, as, the, as I would believe that you would also agree with, that the mechanical act of typing should ideally be faster. Using a digital interface and a keyboard would facilitate also less errors as it would be easier to erase and reformulate your answers. Now, for those who have heard stories in the past of how the bar takers take their exams and maybe those who are retaking the exams, you will know how difficult it is sometimes to formulate your answers. And then when you write it down, there's so many erasures that sometimes you get lost um, in, in, the, in, your, in, in the presentation of your argument. And also in the process, there is the danger of having markings, which can effectively um, serve to um, uh, um, to also, it, it would have points against you in taking the bar exams. So, okay, for those who are used to writing out their thoughts, scratch papers may be provided, which you have to submit at the end of the exam. But there will also be the digital scratch paper available should you opt to use that. Also, having the exams encoded ensures that the examiners will get the answers, your answers faster, and they, therefore they will be able to check it faster. So they will have the option to check the exams horizontally or vertically. What, what, what does that mean? Meaning, uh, the way it is right now, when you get the handbooks or the exam booklets of each of the um, bar takers, we, the examiners, I don't know how they would check it. Justice Monette would, I, I don't know what her style was, but you could either check 
number one of maybe 10 people or the first 50 people and then check number two so what is that that's horizontal or you can do it vertically where you can just check all in, as it is enumerated in the booklet so the examiner will also have that option now digitalization is a big leap forward especially so when our foreign counterpart counterparts in other countries have long since been undertaking the bar examinations using computers so they may, there may be people who would be um, objecting to this type or would be critical of this type of exam but we have to understand that we also have to advance and we have to also be globally competitive Registration for the bar examinations and payment of bar fees may also be done digitally or online. But again, let us wait for official announcements on that. So these matters are currently being tested. The Philippine Association of Law Schools, your law deans, and the Office of the Bar Chairperson are working closely together to make sure that all eventualities are covered and contingencies are in place. For regionalization and localization, we are coordinating with the test sites, making sure that the infrastructure, technical, administrative, technological, security, and all other requirements are present. The bar chair, Justice Leonin, personally visits the sites despite the pandemic, and the law deans are likewise engaged in ensuring the success of the reforms of the bar. Now, for digital digitalization, as provided in the latest bar bulletin, there will be a series of activities to test the viability of the proposed system, like the holding of mock bar examinations. This will be done at the beginning of next year to allow for the earliest assessment of the most apt modality to employ, and also to be able to make the announcement to the bar takers to allow everyone sufficient time to adjust. Well, these reforms are meant to mirror what you law students already do when you study for your classes, like losing your computers, because I suppose you use them more than we used to do in the past during my time. And these reforms in the bar should also be adjusted to, um, it will help adjust how we take our examinations in our law school. So now, the fourth year law students, maybe in your bar reviews and those in the undergrad, and now during the pandemic, perhaps the professors are also shifting to this more digital mode of undertaking your law studies and taking your exams. Now, like I said, this is just a change in the methodology of taking the bar. It should not affect the quality of your substantive study. I suppose Justice Manet Singh already uh, will, will give you a lecture on how best to answer the bar exam as a professor of law and a bar examiner is best positioned to do that. But your professors, experts in the different topics that comprise the bar examination coverage, have in your daily recitations, in your midterm and final examinations, taught you their subjects well. They also trained you how to answer the bar exams. Four and so years of intensive study. And that is what you bring with you to the bar. The review is a review. It's a consolidation of your years of law studies. Now, just a few reminders. Do not be drawn to reading too much text. Read the basic codals. Review the related jurisprudence as provided by your professors or maybe your bar reviewers. If you can, please stick to one reviewer. Input is as important as output. What does that mean? So now, especially for those maybe who, are, uh, who had a year in addition, an additional year to study, uh, perhaps you have time to do this because when you explain the concept instead of just reading and memorizing it, it, you can retain it better and understand it better because understanding is better than memorizing. And no matter, no matter how much the facts go topsy-turvy, you will never lose the spirit of the bar and the spirit of the law. Now, use the scope of the bar examinations provided in the bar bulletins that have been issued. It is also a practice to study all cases penned by the bar chairperson. It is advisable to do that as it is most educational and even pleasurable to read the case ponentias of Justice Leonin, his concurring opinions and his dissents, but remember what holds would be the majority decision. There will be no questions that would relate to decisions where the Supreme Court justices' votes are split. So if it's the vote of an 8-6 or thereabouts, uh, there will be no questions related to those decisions. Questions will be canonical and textual. What does this mean? This means that the questions will be based on text and the decisions cited will be those undisturbed for at least five years. I just have to say this. I'm sure that in your bar reviews, when you talk to professors, they will be giving you tips. Now, the bar chair is very aware of this. And I just have to tell you, please do not rely on tips. The bar chair discourages that. Rely on what you have learned and study well. Your examinations in law school, they are, they are more difficult. The questions in the bar exams are designed to test your readiness to become a lawyer. So you ask yourself, what should I know as a lawyer? When I go out there in the world and people find out I'm a lawyer, if they ask me basic law questions, will I be able to answer them? These will be the content of your bar questions. Also, you will hear a lot of rumors around. The grapevine will be very, very fertile during this period. I would advise that you wait for the bar bulletins and you rely on that. Fake news will only serve to aggravate the anxiety and it's not productive. Preparation for the bar is a holistic exercise. You have to be prepared physically, intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually. Earlier, based on the biopsychosocial model of mental health as shared by Dr. Rose Clemenia, this is actually so much more. And I've been interviewing people who took the bar and I am amazed at how different they prepare. People now prepare 
as compared to how we prepare during our time. And I suppose this is because of the awareness that we also have to take care of other aspects of our um, persons, other aspects of our body, other aspects of our makeup, because preparation for the bar is really a holistic exercise. I just like to say before I end that this is the best time to take the bar. You have sufficient time to study. You have to study efficiently and do your time management wisely. So I'd just like to say good luck with the bar examinations, the last step to fulfilling your dream to become a lawyer.